What's up? I'm Maddie, and it's January 2024, and that means obligatory game room setup tour. So let's start. This is my PC gaming setup side of the game room. Over here, I've got a little console nook for my Xbox Series. Xbox 360, oh my God, I went back in time. No, for my Xbox Series X, holy crap. Anyway, but we're not gonna talk about this just yet. I know you all wanna see the PC gaming setup. So that's where we're gonna start. So I got a pretty big desk. If I recall, this thing is almost 80 inches. The top is from my local Menard store. I stained it, I sanded it, not in that order. Of course, everyone knows where the two drawers are from. They're the Ikea Alex drawers that everyone's had since like gaming subs became really big on Instagram apparently. I still have those because I, I put a lot of crap in them. And if I get rid of my Alex drawer, I don't know where it's all gonna go. Like I have no storage in this room. I have like my old consoles underneath my Euro lounger. I ain't got room for their stuff, so it stays in Alex drawer. So bless them for having so much storage. I need it. I can't even get rid of one. I'll be screwed. Moving on. This little cutie is my gaming PC. No, not this. This is Jeffrey. He's my little astronaut star projector. Jeffrey seems fitting for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, but this is my this is my gaming PC. Um, I love it. It's got an RTX 3080 in it. It's the MSI Ventus 3. It's only I got like 10 10 gigs of VRAM, which is freaking bummer. Um, but yeah, I still love it. It's got a Ryzen 7 5800X. I'm really bad at remembering names and numbers. It's also got a Lee and Lee 360 Galahad. Oh, and I'm just gonna point out right now, right now. This going up and down, this is the radiator. The blue, the blue fans, that's the radiator, okay? And it's just tubes down. So this down here is not the radiator. It's just tubes down, it'll be fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's not gonna overheat, it's not gonna burn up anything. People need to stop telling me that. I'm trying to think what else is memorable. I think it's just, an ASRock B550 Pro something for the motherboard. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, that's my gaming PC. I don't really plan on doing anything to that anytime soon, because I don't really need to. 3080 is still going strong. I love it, I recommend it. Okay, maybe not, because mine costs a lot. Mine still costs a lot. Oh, and you know, big point, obviously, the case is the O11 Dynamic Evo, and yes, it's inverted. Moving on, let's talk monitors. So I got two 27 inch Ultra Gears, they're good for up to, or they're 1440p and they're good for up to 144 hertz, but I rarely ever play anything on that. Just in case I do record gameplay or anything like that, if I take it from 60, I end up recording, and then when I go back and play back what I recorded, it's all choppy because I got the frames wrong, so I just kind of leave it at 60. It's kind of just my thing now, so I'm constantly gaming at like 60. Let's see. Okay, right now my room is completely lit with RGB. I mean, our most game rooms. Anyway, mine's completely lit with RGB and everything on this side, it's all Govi. All of it's Govi. I love Govi. I love having everything on the same app, same ecosystem. It's super easy and it's all smart because I'm lazy. Okay, it's not all smart. Okay, okay, it's not all Govi. The color lights, those aren't Govi. But anyway, so I got the, like, I call it the 3D beam. It's the, that's not really going to show up too well. It's, Look like Jesus coming out of the tomb. Anyway, yeah, so I got the one that does corners. Oh God, and it's got nine, nine little pieces to it. I've also got the hexagons, which I love, just like the OG hexagons, not the ones that started to look like boxes and stuff like that. Just got those, love those. And then on the back of the monitors, I have two sets of the Govi, I think they used to be called the flow bars, but I feel like Govi, I feel like Govi always like, changes product names later on or something like that. Or maybe it's just the like Mandela effect. I remember them being called flow, flow bars, but I'm pretty sure they should call them flow bars. Anyway, that's what these things are. I love those too. By the way, this chaotic video format is brought to you by G Fuel. I'm kind of wired right now. Um, current speakers, I have a bunch of speakers in the closet. One I'm currently using is this Soul Lion one that I got from Soul Lion, but they wanted me to test it out. And I like, I like the amount of space it takes though, compared to like typical speakers. I don't know, I feel like this one's pretty, I like sound, I'm kind of vibing with sound bars lately. So I think I'm gonna keep that one around for a while. Oh yeah, one more thing about RGB is, yeah, the color light thing, but you really can't, in this shot, you can't really see the detail. I'll get some B-roll of it. I also recently just got this old pegboard, which I actually really like. Got a spot for one of my headsets. I can finally put my controller someplace. So they used to just leave it upside down like this on my desk because I had no other spot for it. And then someone was like, dude, you're gonna wear out your triggers. I'm like, oh crap. So now I put it there and it's a lot. Oh God. It looks nicer. 
And then as far as peripherals, I've got like three of like my favorites over here. I've got two from Mage Gee. This one here, the yellow and white one is Mage Gee Sky 68. This black and reddish, black, red, gray one, that's a Mage Gee MK box, which somehow it's unboxing short blew the hell up. It's got like 100,000 views. Nothing I put out, com everything else I put out combined this year isn't even close to that. Anyway, it's a $20 keyboard, 20, 22, 23 buck dollar keyboard. It's a great entry level keyboard, but somehow that one's majorly popular. Then this is the Red Dragon K656. No, it's not the K656. What are you again? I'm terrible at names. Oh, f it is. Yeah, so this one from Red Dragon here is the K656 Garen Pro. Like that one. That one's got its own like Red Dragon purple keys and Bruh. probably sounds like crap on my iPhone because yeah, I'm just recording on my iPhone, but this keyboard feels so good. Otherwise, the one that I'm rocking over here is another one from Red Dragon um, because Red Dragon sent me both of these to try out. Bless them. Uh, this is the K... This one's the K673, but I call it the Spaceballs keyboard because it's got like, it's got the white with like the really glossy black. It looks like something out of Spaceballs. I don't know, but I love this one. This keyboard is amazing. It's a gasket mount one. It's so, okay, it's actually quiet and I didn't think I'd like it because it's quiet, but man, it's so nice to type on. I love it. And I love the RGB on it. And I love that both of them are wireless. Okay, the mouse that I'm rocking is from Razer, actually upgraded, it used to have uh, a Logitech G502 Hero, and I loved it. Why'd I stop using it? Did I get tired of the cord? I got tired of something, something stopped working on it. Anyway, not to crap on Logitech, it was a great mouse, I freaking loved it. I replaced the company, I just wanted a wireless, I think I just wanted wireless, I'm pretty sure that was it. So I got the uh, Basculus, what? So I got the Razer Basculus. <laughs> so I got the Razer Basilisk, Jesus, Ultimate. And I love it, it's a, it's a great mouse. I like it, if I had to compare the two, I like this one just a little bit better, just a little bit better. All right, then also over here, I've got some shelves, which I got from Amazon, pretty much everything almost is from Amazon. Uh, the shelves are from Baobab Workshop. They're made in like, in, I, think they're made, I think they're made in Ukraine. And when you open up the box, like they smell so woody. They smell really good, really good. Like, they smell like super, I think they're made of pine. They smell so piney, it's amazing. So I've got six of those, got some cars, got my SVT Cobra Mustang, which is such a gorgeous car, love that car. BMW, that was apparently terrible to drive. I've got a box for my Xbox controller, a camera. I don't use a 70D, never use it. My iPhone shoots better. A D-boom that's not on and my old GeForce GTX 960. It's not displayed because it's a powerful card. It's just, it's, just, it's just displayed because it's a game room. I figured, why not? And at the moment, when I game with friends or anything like that, or actually mostly when I do voiceovers for YouTube videos, I'm usually using like one of my Fifine microphones. The newest one they sent out to me is the AM8, and it's a pretty good microphone. I like it. I like how it looks. It looks really good. It's not even plugged in right now. What am I doing? It's plugged in now. B-roll. As for cable management, I don't like doing it. I hate cable management, so I don't. I just have a piece of corrugated cardboard in the back there. All the cables are just hanging down like a complete mess. And that's okay, because I don't have patience for that. I really don't. You can see some of them. That's it. They are just all stuffed back there. I recommend it. I'll link to the video of how I made it in case you are tired of cable management also. Here's a cat tree. My cats like to be in here. They like plug out the window in the backyard and look at birds. Anyway, this is the console nook. Just got a futon that my dogs mainly lay on. That's why the blankets there. It's for the doggos. Up here I've got more of those baobab sha shafts, shelves. Uh, these are bigger size. I think these are like 24 and those ones are 16. So these ones are like 24. And yeah, that's my sucker punch sword up there. Again, I've got Gobi lights, Gobi lights behind the TV, uh, a Lifex beam. You might not be able to tell from the video. Oh my. But I painted this wall like crap. Actually, no, I patched the wall like crap. So if you see any bad marks, any blotches or anything, yeah. I patched like shit. And I'm gonna need to like do it again at some point. All right, we're sitting down now. I can't remember where I got this from. 
I thought the brand started with a W, but I can't remember now. But this is a very, very big TV stamp. I love how it looks and I love that it's low because I like my TVs low because I'm a short person. I'm like 5'7". I like my TVs low and someone's got a TV that's like above a fireplace. That hurts my neck. So this is low, low TV and I'm fine with that. Um, on here I got like my Wii U <laughs> because you know, Zelda HD remakes. Um, and then I got my Switch that I never touch anymore. I never touch it. When I'm gaming on the Xbox with friends, I got the Razer Black Shark V2X, which is an amazing, amazing headset for 50 bucks. And my wife just picked up one for 40, which I think is a great deal for, for a wired headset. And it's so comfortable. I love it. Then I got my Xbox and <laughs> down here, down here I got the Zelda Historia. And that's because it's hiding all my cables. Like I got a power strip behind there, surge protector. It's a mess. It's a rat's nest of cables back there. That covers it up. Does a great job. Then I got my little nerdy wall shelf. I don't know what you want to call this thing, but this is where I got a bunch of my Amiibos. I got the NES Classic Edition, the Super NES Edition, Classic Edition, Super Super Nintendo Classic Edition, the Metroid Amiibos. I love those. And my my Samus Morph Ball pillow. I love that because I love Metroid. I grew up playing Super Metroid all the time. I still play Super Metroid. Okay, I don't play Super like, all the time. I need to. I love that game though. Love Super Metroid so much. And up top, I just got like a space picture that I got from an anime con with like Keith from Voltron and Red Lion and Han Solo. Fox, my wife's stellar ship controller came in. So yeah, that's my gaming setup at the start of 2024. And in two weeks, uh, this desk setup is gonna completely change. It's gonna be in the same spot, but yeah, this desk setup is gonna change already. I pretty much just made this because I wanted a video that kind of showcases documents kind of where my setup has been and where it's gone so that way in 2024 i can see hey here's where i started and at the end of 2024 or at the beginning of 2025 hey here's where i ended or here's where i started again uh but I, I do have plans for my console nook my console setup um mainly like the wall like i already kind of just revamped this like a month ago <laughs> So this is mostly stained, but I did have other plans, like the LifeX beam there, that was just a crapshoot decision. And I was like, I need to put this somewhere and I don't have money to do what I want to do on that wall. I still don't even know exactly what I want to do, but I know it's going to cost some money. So I just kind of put that there for now. I'm just got to hope the adhesive on the back of the Velcro doesn't rip off paint or do any more damage because these walls have gotten in the last year that I've been in this room. All from tape and wall mounting things. Actually, the gaming setup, my main plan for this is I want to actually have a dedicated space where I can like film and box and stuff like that. Cause right now it's all just, it's all just taken up. I really, I realized, I thought I needed all this space. I like this cool wide setup, but it's just kind of too much space, especially for the fact that I barely actually game on here anymore. It's mostly working for you, like working on YouTube videos and stuff like that. So I figure I do want to give myself some dedicated space. I'm not constantly moving mice and keyboards and mats and speakers and stuff like that to be like, oh, hey, I need room for this product or this box. I'm going to have that. So I do have some cool ideas. Anyway, this has been a very chaotic video. I hope you still enjoyed it. Um, I thought about, hey, do I want to do something more like scripted, professional, but like my other sometimes review videos, I'm like, oh my God, but I'm not that kind of person all the time. Like those are scripted because they're like review videos, but this is, this is me and my setup. It's my nerdy room. So I figured why as well just do do this. So this has been my G Fuel tour of my gaming setup for January 2024. If you have any questions or comments, questions on where else I got something or if there's anything I missed, I might have missed a couple things, uh, feel free to ask, drop them in the comments, and I'll try to hit back with hopefully like a link for like, here's where I got it. You can get it for yourself. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Um, subscribe if you want to see what the setup's going to look like. Thanks, bye.